How do you figure out what the volume of a sphere or ball is? You only need two things to figure out what the volume inside is. The first is the radius of the sphere. That's the distance from the very center to the outside. And you need to know what pi is. Pi is 3.14 all the time, everywhere, even on Mars, pi is the same. And I suppose you need the formula. The volume of a sphere is 4 times pi, this is my symbol for pi, but remember it just means 3.14, times the radius cubed. Now this button here, or this function, is you taking the radius and multiplying it 3 times. So this is like 4 times pi times r times r times r. And r is your radius, I just use r for radius. And in the end you also have to divide by 3. It's a complicated formula, but you're going to have to be able to use it. And don't worry, I'll help you. Check it out. Here is a question. What is the volume of a ball that has a radius of 20 centimeters? I've even drawn it for you here. Uh, I tried to add these things to show you that it's a full ball. It's not just a random circle. And all we need is the formula. We've got 4 times pi. Now that's 3.14 times the radius, that's 20, three times. Look at that. And we divide the whole thing by three. Now you're probably gonna need a calculator for this because pi, I mean, you're multiplying decimals. You can do it in your head, but uh, why not? Four times 3.14 times 20 times 20 times 20. And then divide by three. I get 33,493 centimeters. Now I should note that the units here are centimeters with that little exponent 3 on it. That's how we show that we're not talking about length in centimeters. We're not talking about area in centimeters squared. We're talking about an amount of space that's being taken up in centimeters cubed. Calculating the volume, again, is pretty easy. If you have the radius and you know what pi is, plug it all into the formula, and it's one quick calculation. Hey, best of luck to you.